Hey guys, in this video, let us discuss few methods that are in Streams API. Map, map to int, map to double. Map takes function as parameter. Function is a functional interface. It takes an input of any type and converts it into an output of any other data type. Map to int takes two int function as parameter. This is also a functional interface. The name itself implies this takes an input of any type and returns an output of data type integer. The next method is map to double. It takes two double function as parameter. This is a functional interface. This also takes an input of any type but returns an output of data type double. Now let us see how to use all these methods using an example. First let us implement all these methods with a list of string and then move on to an array of objects. Here I am having a list of strings. Let us convert it into a string and then call the map method dot map. Here map takes function as parameter. The input to the function implementation is a string and we can decide on the output. That is my input is of data type string. So let me pass str. My output can be of any data type. It can be integer, double, boolean any data type. So as of now let us start with integer. So I can just put curly braces return str.length. I can write it in a single line also. Remove the curly brace and the return statement. And then I can convert it back into a list. In this case the list will have the list of integer data type because we have converted the string into integer data type. Collect collectors.toList let me get the return value in a list of integer str length equal to arrays dot as list okay so, so str length so the output here will contain the length of each and every element let us run the application here you can see the output similar to this instead of converting my string into integer data type if i want to convert my string into boolean data type let us see how this can be done. So let me copy the same code and we will modify it. Let us change the variable name to str1 arrays.aslist.stream.map The input to the map is a string so we are passing str. The output from the map should be of data type boolean. So let us write some logic for that str.length greater than 5. So based on the length it is going to either return true or false and convert it back into a list. The return type of this is not a list of integer but it is a list of boolean values. And here let us try to print str1. Save the application and run it. In the first case it is returning a list of length of each and every element. In the second case, it is checking for the length of each and every string element. If it is less than 5, it is returning false. If it is greater than 5, it is returning true. Now we have used the map method on a list of string values. Now let us see how to use the map method on a list of user defined object. In my case, I am going to work with an employee class. This employee class is having few instance variables, employee name, salary, city and age, default and parameterized constructor, get a set of methods and to string. Now let us go in for another class. Here I am having a list of employee objects. Let us try to implement the map method. So let us convert our employees into a stream, employees.stream.map. Here you can see map takes function as parameter. The function implementation takes employee as input. The output from this implementation can be anything. It can be a string, it can be integer or it can be again an employee object. In our case, we will try to get the name of the employees in uppercase. That is the input to the implementation method is an employee object and the output from the method has to be a string in uppercase. So let me pass it as emp arrow. In our case, if you see in the employee, we are having the name and the city which is of data type string. We can choose any of this. I am going to convert the name into uppercase. 
so here i can give emp dot get employee name dot to upper case again convert it back into a list this time the return type of a list is list of string collect collectors dot to list the return type is a list of string employee names so here we are implementing the map method in this case the input to the map method is the employee object and the output from the map method is a string in upper case let us print the employee names save it and run the application now we can see the output so using map method we can convert an input of one type into an output of another type here we have taken the input as employee object and we are converting it into a string object okay now we will move on to the next method map to int let us try with the basic example and then come back to this one let me go to this class so i want to implement map to int in this case also i am going to work with the same list of strings and convert it into a stream then called map to int method map to int takes two int function as parameter so here in this case the input can be of any data type and the output should be of data type integer in our case we are working with the list of string so the input is of data type string but the output should be of data type integer so let us use map to int and here we can pass str arrow str dot length so here what i am doing i am trying to get the length of each and every element just like in the previous case but in case of map you can convert it back into a list that is to a list which is having the length of each and every element but in this case i don't want to do the same operation but i want to perform aggregation operation that is i want to get the sum of length of all the elements so i can directly go in for sum method you can see this returns the sum of elements in the string so what it will do it will take the length of each and every element and sum it up so let me just select sum the return type is an int value int sum is equal to let us print the sum save this and run the application so we have got the sum of length of all the elements in the list let us implement it for our user defined object employee so let me come in this part let us implement map to int so you know the input to this should be an employee object and you know the output from this should be of integer data type so let us try that let us convert our employees into a stream employees dot stream dot map to int you can see it is taking to int function so the input to this implementation function is employee arrow the output from this implementation function should be of data type integer in our case we are having the age as integer so let me just give emp dot get age and now what we can do is we can go in for another aggregate operation that is average i want to get the average age of all the employees from the list so let us use average the return type of average method is not a double value or an int value but it is returning an optional double let me get the return value in optional double optional double this doesn't take any generics because implicitly it specifies the return values of type double so let me get it as opt age is equal to and import optional double you can see it is from java.util package in the next line double average age is equal to opt age dot get us double and let us print the average age we can also write this in a single line using method chaining so let me remove these two lines and i can call average dot get us double which returns the double value directly but always remember whenever you are using streams api to manipulate a list of values 
the value may or may not be available so it's always better to get it in an optional value and check whether the value is available using is present is empty methods of optional class but as of now just for learning purpose i'm directly getting it now i can modify this as double age equal to let me print the age save this and run it fine okay next let us implement map to double since we know how to implement map to in let us try to implement map to double in this example itself implement map to double input is the employee object and the output is double let us convert our employee list into stream dot map to double you can see it takes two double function as parameter the input to this is an employee object the output from this implementation should be a double value in our case we are having the salary of the employee as a double value so what we can do is we can call employee dot get salary just like the previous case in this case let us try to get the sum of salaries of all the employees so directly you can call dot sum function it returns a double value double sum of salaries and print it save it and run the application now here we are getting the sum of salaries of all the employees so we have seen how to implement map method map to int map to double so based on your requirement you can use it whenever you want to perform aggregate operations it's always better to use the specific map methods either you can go in for map to int map to double or map to long that's all thank you